everybody, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the New York City Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for tonight's main event. 12 rounds of heavyweights between these two great warriors. He's making his way to the ring right now, and you can just see in his eyes what his intentions are tonight. He's making his way down to the ring, and he does so with a confidence where he knows he put all the hard work in, and he's ready to explode inside those ropes. Fighting out of the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the intentions. His opponents in the blue corner, please welcome Dynamite. commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. During your training career, is this the type of matchup that you liked when you had a power puncher facing another power puncher? No, I hated it. I never wanted to fight a big banger. I wanted to be the only guy in that ring that brought that to the party. Defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. And what a clever combination by bad intentions. Landing two jabs by bad intentions. Halfway through this round. We got a fight here between these two where there is an expectation that it will not be an early evening, that this is going the full route. Yeah, well, these guys are not really risk takers. You know, they don't go out there and gamble a lot. They play it pretty safe, and you can say it's going to be pretty safe that we're going to get rounds. Well, nowadays, we have so many different weight classes. Used to be only eight weight classes. Now, with all the super and juniors attached to every weight class, you can go up and down the scale with ease throughout your career. Is that good for the game? No, I don't really think it is because you're making it too easy for the fighters. You know, I'm not saying that it's not good that they have an alternate to a weight class, but a lot of times when you make things easy, they're going to go for the path that is easier. In other words, somebody should be a middleweight. Now, all of a sudden, they're going to be a light heavyweight. They're going to be a super middleweight. Where, with a little discipline, they would have fit into that middleweight frame. It wasn't that they couldn't make it. Now, you make it so easy, they don't want to make it. Last 10 seconds of this first one. Oh, and there you go. Bad intentions is... Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. So he is it, and he catches a lucky break. Saved by the bell here at the end of the round, Teddy. Yeah, right away you're thinking, you know, where do I spend my time right now? You want to tell him things that can help him, but he is really groggy right now, so you got to get him clear-minded first.
returns fire with a left hand. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. How about a return to center with the left hand? He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Wow, is he defensively sound. <laughs> Halfway through round number two. A nice block by Dynamite. Nice combination, throwing more than one, both scored there. by bad intentions. <laughs> Ten seconds to go in this round. Good job on the two-punch combo by Dynamite. End of the round is upon us. And if the next round holds up like that, we're going to be in for a real treat. No, we will be because both these guys have the philosophy that their best defense is their offense. And round number three is underway. Well-placed, well-timed combo up top. Just misses with that headshot. Fires right back at him. That punch nowhere close. Good looking counter punch. Undoubtedly, the most effective element of his entire arsenal tonight is his jab. He's so committed to fighting on the outside, and he's jabbing away beautiful. Well, Customato used to tell me, Teddy, when you're in doubt, jab. Well, this fighter, when he's been in doubt, he's jab. When he's been sure of himself, he's jab. As you said, he's made a jab fest of this all night long. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Good looking counter punch. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand.
He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Defensive skill. He scored well after being hit himself. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Good looking counter punch. Coming to the end of this round. Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, a round like that where it's a lot of busy activity and both guys being busy. When you were a trainer, are those the kind of rounds that you prefer, or do you like the pace to be a little slower? It doesn't depend on each guy. No, if I have a fight, I'd rather have a guy fighting a guy that you never see him. <laughs> Leave me the heck alone. And where I'm in control all the time. But the fans love to see a fight like that. And another shot comes in. You always say punchers are born, Teddy. But what about a guy's ability to withstand big punches? What about a guy's chin? You know, that's an interesting point. Part of it is physical, and you know what it is? It's the neck. That's the shock absorber, but most of it's mental. You have to want to take the punches. You have to will yourself through the punches. This guy has some will. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Good way to protect the midsection. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. right was lined up but he missed does it surprise you that he's not going to the body as much as he could be well what surprises me is that he doesn't have the intuitiveness you know just just the instinct to understand to recognize the situation that's part of the ability of a good fighter to recognize what he should be doing in a certain situation he's not seeing that he should be going downstairs The defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. And another one lands. And we are back underway, another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Bad intentions, he's got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheek. Devastating blow by Dynamite. What guts it takes, what commitment it takes to keep up with this kind of a pace. The action's been nonstop. Now, the one thing I can tell you is this is where you don't worry about pace. You don't think about pace. Otherwise, you could not be doing what these guys are doing. They're just going round to round. Doing well on the outside. 
Boy, he's really working well on the outside, isn't he? Yeah, he's doing a great job of disciplining himself. You know, we talk about power, we talk about speed, we talk about all those virtues, but just controlling himself and making sure he controls the distance, a distance that's got him winning the fight. This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it every which way they are. So you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect sunset? Oh, yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful. <laughs> to go in what has been two minutes of sensational action. Neither man coming off stride. A little added concern for the fighter in his corner. There's a cut above his eye. And Joe, you never know how a fighter's going to react until he is cut. Is he gonna panic? Is he gonna forget about it, let his corner take care of it? We're about to find out. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Locks away that headshot. Well targeted counter punch by Dynamite. Last 10 seconds. As this round comes to an end, Teddy, you just get the sense that at any point this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with bad intention. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecards. They're letting everything go in every punch. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. We just have not seen the big shots from this guy. He is not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Able to counter that attack. <laughs> Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Good block there by bad intentions. Good job fighting from the outside. Boy, you gotta love being his opponent, right? You come into a fight like this tonight, you're so worried about getting off your punches, landing accurate punches. Well, here it is. Not gonna move the head at all. Come and get it. No, you just have to worry about you don't hurt your hands. You better hope that you wrap them real good because you're banging that nugget all night long. Wow, just sit back and enjoy this one. 
You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. Joe, it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. Nice combination there. <laughs> Round comes to an end. And that's one of those rounds, Teddy, that just takes on a certain style, a certain characteristic. And that was a busy one. Yeah, it was a busy one. Look, Joe, you don't have to look for these guys. They're right there in front of you. Why do you think that is? Why do you think sometimes you just get those rounds where it all happens? Because of styles. You know, styles make fights. In this case, you see in proof of that right there. Both guys that are aggressive, both guys that are very confident. Nice block by Bad Intentions. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Blocked by dynamite. And a well placed counter by bad intentions. Bad Intentions is out at longer range. He's staying away from some danger spots defensively. Well, he knows he has an opponent who has to be set to punch and who's very dangerous in those spots. So he's doing what he should be doing, keeping them off balance, giving them angles, fighting a smart fight. defensive skill well after being hit himself. Final 10 seconds. What a good counter punch by Dynamite. And he's able to put his punches together. That's a nice looking combo. Well, that's the benefit of two and three instead of one. The action starts up again, but it's only favored one man. Hard to see this fight going the distance based on what we've witnessed so far. There he is on the inside doing well. Wow, great action right from the start. Hey. I don't know that they can keep up this pace, but if they do, what a night we got ahead of us. Yeah, we're getting tired just watching this early part. <laughs> Dismisses his opponent's headshot. He gets hit, but he gives it right back.
Blocked that away. It was targeted for his head. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. That's a good block by bad intentions. Great fight. I mean, just a great fight. Both guys giving their all back and forth. It doesn't get much better. Try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. out very well the counter punch landing by dynamite 10 seconds to go in this round so the round comes to an end joe and teddy here ringside and we've been enjoying sitting ringside because teddy i know you have some of your fine guests from the Dr. Theodore Atlas Charitable Foundation with us here tonight. And they're having a great night, and it's great to have them here. The thing that I want to say is thank you to all the people that help us, help many. They trust us. They allow us to be the middleman to give out the resources where they're needed. Thank you for mentioning, Joe, and thank you to all the people that help us do what we do. that punch intended for the head. There's the head shot, but he parries it away. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Good combination to the head. is in a bad place right now. He was tagged. Dynamite's mounting a comeback here, Teddy. Things were going against him. Now the tide is turned. Good things come to those who wait or those who persevere. He persevered. Good things are happening. A well-placed uppercut by Dynamite. Fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. So the end of the round. And now a chance to put the pieces back together. He got stunned in that last round. Yeah, well, he has to get those birds out of his head right now. You know, open that cage up and let him fly out there. And the best way to do that is find out why he got stunned. What did he get hit with? Keep 
works again. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Good job on the two-punch combo by Bad Intentions. Bad Intentions is doing good damage with the combination punching. Well, right there is a good example of the benefit of combination punching. You miss the first or the second, the third and the fourth, they land. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. We got an interesting fight here. It looks like one man is seemingly in control. But the other is still live, is still game, is still capable. May need to hit that jackpot, though. Well, he probably does need that knockout. So right now he has to adjust his game plan, his thinking a little bit. He's got to look for a spot to land one big shot. Maybe when he's pulling out. This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it every which way they are. So you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect sunset? Oh, yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful. combination by dynamite <laughs> able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut <laughs> This has been a hotly contested war throughout, and you just have a sense that it's going to end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for broke right from the beginning. dismiss that body shot able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut oh he just misses with that headshot oh everybody will tell you you can't get away with that what a big wide sweeping whiff that was well you can get away with it if the guy doesn't want to throw back but if this guy wants to start throwing back then you're not getting away with it Counter punch by Dynamite. A crafty counter punch after a fine defensive effort by Bad Intentions. Just good, precise, precision punching by our man here. Yeah, everything in the place that it needs to be. to 
go in what has been two minutes of sensational action. Neither man coming off stride. One to give one, he comes back with a right hand. Well, he took one right there, but then he targeted one right back. Blocks away that headshot. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. And this is the final round. Twelve rounds going at you. And this is the final round. Round number 12 coming at you. Accurate work with the hook there after fine, fine defense. cut just under his eye and that's actually good news for him I know it looks ugly but that's better than being above the eye oh what an exchange wow just sit back and enjoy this one you can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. So it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. Oh! He is damaged badly. Then crashes to the canvas from that hook. from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. job staying away from the danger there unless there's some sort of stunning one punch here that we can't see coming this has the feel of a distance fight doesn't it yeah unless it has a kind of uh you know punch that they can't see coming not us forget about that we don't see it coming that's okay but if one of those guys don't see it coming well that's the only way that you're going to get a knockout if a blind punch comes out of nowhere excellent counter punch by bad intentions Turns the favor with a right hand of his own. Good block there by Dynamite. Lands the counter. And we send it up to the ring at the end of this fight. To hear what the Ladies judges have to say. Tonight, the judges have reached a unanimous decision. Your winner, Bad Intentions. Bad Intentions is your winner by a unanimous decision. And that was a surprise right there. Coming into this fight, we thought we'd see maybe a knockout. But no, we wound up getting a strategic fight. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.
know about Smith. How I came to the scene and came to uplift. The racketary statues are righteous.